there YouTube, it's Nick with Feeding Fitness. Today I'm going to do a product review for you guys. I have a new type of protein powder uh, that I've tried out. Um, this is Phase 8. Uh, it's by Muscle Tech and I'm going to do a review on it. Um, first thing I'm going to talk about is the price at which I got it. This is what turned me on to it originally. Uh, Bodybuilding.com was doing a sale where if you bought um, one of, I think it's like a two pound tub, is that what it says? It doesn't really say, but I think it's like two, yeah, two pounds. Um, two pound tub that you got two small tubs for free. So for 25 bucks, you basically got, um, this. the big tub is 22 servings, and then each small tub is four servings. So it was buy 22 servings, get eight servings free. All that for 25 bucks, not a bad deal. And uh, that's why I decided to try it out. So let me tell you a little bit about the product. Um, the flavors I got were cookies and cream and peanut butter. And then I actually ended up liking the product so much and felt this was such a good deal that I reordered, bought another big tub of cookies and cream, a second small tub of peanut butter, and I got strawberry, which I haven't tried yet. Um, but the cookies and cream taste really, really good. Um, I have replaced Optimum Nutrition Kazin uh, with this stuff because I feel like the cookies and cream versus theirs, this tastes better. Um, and I mainly use casein protein for things like making protein fluff, uh, link in the description to how to make protein fluff. Um, and I use it for baking and things like that. I just feel like the taste of this one is superior and it actually fluffs up a little bit better in my opinion. Um, the peanut butter one tastes fair. It's not as good as Cellucor's peanut butter, but then now we're comparing whey protein to something else. So it's not, not really a fair comparison, but it's still pretty good. And like I said, I haven't tried the strawberry, but it makes really good protein fluff. It bakes well, and it's fine just as a shake to chug. Um, but I don't take straight protein shakes very often, so I'm not the best person to give advice on that. So um, it's going to talk a lot. Uh, it's called Phase 8 because it's supposedly will release, it's got five or six, I think six different types of protein in it, ranging from, as the label says, super fast to super slow. So they're saying the protein's gonna get absorbed over eight hours, yada, yada, yada. If you give a shit about nutrition timing, you can read the whole label if you feel like it. I don't care about nutrition timing. I think for most people, it's um, insignificant in how much it'll uh, actually uh, have to do with your progress. So I don't buy into any of that stuff. I'm more worried about taste, cost, and macronutrients. So, um, and the protein blend is also important. Anytime you're buying blended protein, you need to see where they're getting that protein from. Um, is it a source like soy, which isn't the best source of protein? Um, I, there are studies uh, talking about soy and how it affects testosterone, things like that. I'm not really up to date on all that literature. Uh, I just simply avoid it <laughs> um, until somebody can definitively tell me soy protein is fine or soy protein is bad. I tend not to seek it out, but um, this doesn't have any soy. If you look, um, there are major sources of protein in this. We've got hydrolyzed whey protein isolate, good. Whey protein isolate, good. I, they count that as two. <laughs> whey protein concentrate, good. Milk protein isolate, good, calcium caseinate, and micellular casein. So all those are quality sources of protein. So you're gonna get a good amino acid profile, everything you need. Um, macros, a serving size is 41 grams. This is more than most proteins. Most proteins you find the serving size between 30 and 33 grams. So um, you only get 22 servings out of a two pound tub, but when I make protein fluff, I use 20 to 25 grams no matter what the serving calls for. So for me, I'm really getting like double that. I'm gonna make 44 fluffs out of one of these. That's the way I look at it. Don't always go by, oh, there's only 22 servings, that's a ripoff. Well, you don't have to use the suggested serving size. You can use as little or as much protein as you want. Too many people buy it and think they just have to use the scoop. Uh, and you should be weighing it anyways, because I find a lot of times the scooper does not correlate to the serving size. So always weigh your protein, always weigh your weight. But um, that, that's beside the point. You can use as little, little or as much as you want. But for one full serving, which is a big serving, it's 150 calories. That's why it's a little more calories than most proteins. Um, you're going to get 7 grams of carbs, 2 fats, 
and 26 grams of protein. And I'm fine with those macros, especially like I said, considering I'm probably only using like a half scoop to make things that I'm using. So, you know, I'm getting like three and a half carbs, only one gram of fat and like 13 grams of protein. So that's pretty good for something like protein fluff or whatever you're gonna use with it. So definitely a thumbs up on my book. Definitely check it out, especially if that sale's still going on. I don't know when you're watching this video and how long it's been since I've made this video that you guys are actually seeing it, but great deal. Um, I do know bodybuilder.com tends to repeat their sales often. So if it's not on sale, might be worth waiting to uh, see if it goes on sale again. But um, thumbs up for sure. Definitely like this protein powder. It's gonna replace optimum nutrition, uh, casein protein for things like protein fluff. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. And uh, you can join us at the Facebook page at facebook.com upslash feedingfitness. And I'll see you guys next time.